Hey, you guys, you were here. So today I will be planting my elephant ears and it came to my attention that I've never done a video about that. So that's what I'm going to do today. So elephant ears or colocasia come from a tropical environment and they really love the warmth. And you can only plant these plants outside after all of the danger of frost has passed in your area. Also, it's preferable that your night temperatures are over 50 degrees. And it's also preferable that your soil temperatures are over 60 degrees. And it seems that I'm meeting all these criteria today. So that's why I decided to plant these out today. Now I start my elephant ears inside the house a couple of months before I can plant them outside. Because they're such warm loving plants, they really benefit from uh, an early start. So by the time you can plant them outside, they already have some uh, foliage on them. All right, let's talk about the perfect location for elephant ears in the garden. Now, this right here is my perfect spot for my elephant ears. I've been planting them here for years. Um, one reason is that my neighbors love it. In fact, a couple of neighbors walked by already and asked me when the elephant ears are coming back. And I promised them soon. And the other reasons is that the lighting here is perfect. It receives about two hours of sunlight. Um, so it's in the morning right now and it has this beautiful morning light. If I plant them in a little bit more sun, they get scorched. And also the soil here is amazing. And elephant ears do appreciate really good soil. So when I plant my elephant ears in the ground, I give them about three feet spacing because these are huge plants. One of their leaves can get as wide as two feet and as long as four feet. So they need some room to grow. All right, if you don't have good soil where you want to plant your elephant ears, I uh, recommend that you add some compost or well dehydrated manure. They really would love that. When I plant my elephant ears, I make sure that the corm is about two inches deep in the ground. And the reason is uh, because the leaves get so big, they can almost act like sails. Um, and in a windstorm or high winds, it can damage the plant as it moves in the soil. So you want to make sure that they're securely anchored in the ground. The last step is to water them in really well and we normally receive uh, regular rains here in northern New Jersey but sometimes we have periods of drought in the summer or late summer so I have to come out and water these plants by hand because I do not have irrigation in this part of the garden and these plants do like water and their leaves actually get a lot bigger with uh, regular waterings. Another thing I do in the summer is fertilize these plants about three weeks and I like to use the seaweed fertilizer but basically any high nitrogen fertilizer will do because these are not blooming plants although they do occasionally bloom uh, but it's all about the foliage and that's why the nitrogen is so important. All right you guys this is it for today. I hope these instructions made sense and um, you know how much I love my elephant ears. I think they are just so dramatic. They add this beautiful tropical texture to your garden. And they actually come in so many different varieties and different colors. Um, those I mostly collect by the pond area. And they are not that difficult to grow. 
I would say the hardest part is starting them in the spring because they take such a long time to wake up and I really like the warmth. But once they get started and you find just the right spot for them in the garden, they give back so much and they bring so much joy. Anyway, thank you so much, you guys, for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next one.